Indicator Warehouse. In this video, I'm going to show you the dynamic equivolume bars. This is a brand new charting style from Indicator Warehouse. As most of you traders already know, there's really only two things on a chart that are real, price and volume. Everything else is a mathematical derivative of something or another giving you your oscillators and your various trading tools. But price and volume are actually the only two things available to you as a trader. Now, the nice thing about price and volume is that unlike a lot of indicators, price and volume are actually leading indicators. Most other indicators are lagging indicators. The problem with using price and volume is that they're a little bit more difficult to interpret. Here we have just our regular standard chart with our candlestick charts on here with our prices and our volume histogram underneath. We have all the information we need here. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for most people to correctly interpret what's going on here in the volume histogram. So in response to that, a fellow by the name of Richard Arms many years ago developed a charting style known as Equa Volume Charts. What equa volume charts do is they show you in a very simple format on the price chart itself what volume is doing. So you get a visual interpretation of what's going on with the price chart itself. Let me show you what that's going to look like. So we'll just change the chart style here from candlestick to equa volume. And now our candlestick charts have an entirely different look. Look at how the width of the bar itself corresponds to the volume that's going on the chart. This is the E-mini S&P, and you can see here on these days where the E-mini made a very dramatic move lower, you can see the bars themselves got wider. So we don't even need this histogram down here anymore. We can tell from the width of the price bar itself what is going on in the marketplace. And I'm going to show you a few things here that is going to make this a very invaluable tool. But before I do that, I want to show you a particular feature that's unique to the dynamic equal volume bars from Indicator Warehouse, namely that there are three different settings available to you. When Dick Arms first developed equal volume charting, he had a simple uh, box style bar. Now with the Indicator Warehouse, dynamic equivolume bars, you actually have three chart styles. The candlestick equivolume, which you see right here. Then there is also the traditional box bar. This is the one that Dick Arms developed. And then there's a hybrid of the box bar known as a modified box. Now the thing with the modified box is that you still get the simplicity of the box bar itself, but you can also see in the shadows where the closing price is, where the opening price is, and so on. All right, so you get a bit of a feel for the overall range of the bar, but you also get um, the, the power of the box. Now, a lot of people simply like to use the candlestick chart, and that's perfectly fine also. You still get a lot of this information that's important to you as a trader. All right, so how would you actually interpret some of these equa volume bars. This is just a very quick primer. There is a lot more information available on trading equa volume bars, but let me just give you a little bit of an overview. First off, the important thing to remember between price and volume is that they have a one-to-one -one type relationship. It's basic physics, really, where you're expecting an equal and opposite reaction. So if there's a lot of force behind the market, namely if there's a lot of volume, you would expect a big bar. So notice what we've got going on here with the E-mini. We had the market uh, making lows, and then all of a sudden we're getting some breakout. And look at how the volume is increasing with the breakout. Well, every trader knows that you need volume to sustain a breakout. So on the E-mini right now, it's looking very bearish. Even though the buyers are trying to fight it up, We've got some reasonable size buy bars here. All of a sudden, you can see how the market topped out. This was actually a very good selling opportunity that we took advantage of. 
and the market headed a little bit lower and note the size of the bars here there's still a decent width compared to some of these bars up here so we know there's a lot of volume on the sell side as the market if the market increases and rallies a little bit higher and says gets back to this 2030 area if we saw the bars increasing in width that would say there's a lot more buying pressure but if these bars are coming up here and all of a sudden getting skinny and thin that would tell us that there is less buying pressure and it may actually develop into another really good selling opportunity let's take a look at another chart this is Facebook and uh, for those of you who are trading the stock market uh, there was a very interesting little event here on Facebook a couple of months back where the market was stuck in this sideways range and you can see there was some decent selling pressure here at the top look at the width of this bar as the market encountered these highs here look at how the sellers jumped all over it that would have been a very good indication that the market was going to head lower which of course it did got back down to the support area here and then started to flounder a little bit got a little bit quiet oh but look at this we got a really big bar off of the support we actually broke through this little swing high right here this would be your first clue that Facebook was getting ready to reverse if not fully reverse at least make a run here back to the highs this is a lot of volume on a big surge in price so let's see how it played out from there so note the sellers are trying to force the market back lower but look at the width of the bars they're not very thick are they so the market continues sideways oh look at that sell bar this is a tip off this is a desperate attempt by the sellers to recover the market it had very good range so if you just looked at a regular candlestick bar here where they all the bars are the same width everything looks the same you would have had no idea that this market moved lower on vapors but with the dynamic equi volume bars you can see that there was no selling pressure going on behind the scenes here so then when the buyers come back now all of a sudden we can start to get a little bit more aggressive on the buy side so where are they oh right there there is a buying bar with a lot of pressure it confirms what we've suspected that the sellers really didn't have the strength to take the market back now this is an excellent buying opportunity for us where we could buy in the market goes a little bit sideways where are you oh there's another really good buy bar confirming again that the buyers do have control notice all these attempts to sell the market look at how thin the bars are and there we go look at that nice little rally here in Facebook and they continue higher still and all that from way back here we had the tip off practically at the lows that the market was going to turn and head higher and notice how each breakout was confirmed with yet a wider bar suggesting there was a lot of buying pressure behind here uh, another thing that you can do with the equi volume bars uh, like I said you expect every bar to have an equal and opposite reaction so if we had a doji bar or a very small bar that was very very wide well that kind of shows us the opposite right it shows us a market that is not progressing with a lot of volume and that is another key reversal signal so the dynamic equi volume bars just give you all the information you need in a very easy to understand visual format it really something that no trader should be without and a, a really nice feature about the dynamic equi volume charts is that they will work on any chart that you can plot on NinjaTrader. So it doesn't matter whether you're trading stocks, futures, forex, ETFs, whatever. You can incorporate these dynamic equi volume bars into your trading. And remember, whether you're day trading the E-mini S&P, other futures contracts, or forex, Indicator Warehouse will help you get more profit from your online trading and technical analysis efforts. Thanks again for joining us.